Cari fratelli e sorelle, buongiorno. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning. Una voce che risuona all'improvviso nella vita di Abramo. Una voce There is a voice that resounds in Abraham's life, a voice that invites him to set out on a path, uh, on a path that sounds absurd, a voice that spurs him to uproot himself from his homeland, from the roots of his family, to move towards a new and different future. And all on the basis of a promise, which only needs to be trusted. To entrust ourselves to the promise is not easy. It requires uh, courage. Uh, and Abram entrusted himself to God. The Bible is silent on the past, on the past of the first patriarch. The logic of things suggests that he worshipped other divinities. Perhaps he was a wise man, used to searching the sky and the stars. The Lord, in fact, promises him that his descendants will be as numerous as the stars that dot the sky. And Abraham departs. He hears God's voice and trusts his word. This is important. He trusts, the, he, trusts himself to, he trusts himself to the Word of God. And with this departure, a new way of conceiving the relationship with God is born. It's for this reason that the Patriarch Abraham is present in the great Jewish, Christian, and Islamic spiritual traditions as the perfect man of God capable of submitting to him, even when his will is difficult, if not even incomprehensible. Abraham is therefore the man of the word. When God speaks, man becomes the receptor of that word and his life, the place where it seeks to be incarnated. This is a great novelty in man's religious journey. The believer's life begins to conceive itself as a vocation, uh, to be conceived as a vocation, as a place where a promise is fulfilled. And the human being moves in the world not so much under the weight of an enigma, but with the strength of that promise, which one day will be fulfilled. Abraham believed in the promise of God. He believed and he went without knowing where he was going, uh, according to... Uh, Abraham believed. And he entrusted himself to God's word. Reading the word of God, uh, reading the book of Genesis, we discover how Abraham lived prayer in continuous fidelity to that word, which periodically appeared along his path. In summary, we can say that in Abraham's life, faith becomes history, faith becomes his story. Abraham immediately learned uh, from this path, this journey, and, and faith uh, becomes history. Faith becomes history. God is no longer seen only in cosmic phenomena as a distant God who can inspire terror. The God of Abraham becomes my God the God of my personal story, who guides my steps, who doesn't abandon me, the God of my days, the companion of my adventures, the God of providence. He, uh, he asked me and he asked you, 
Have you had this experience of God, my God, my God who is my companion, the God of my personal story, the, the God who keeps my steps, who doesn't abandon me, the God of my days? Have we had this experience? And the Pope asked himself and he asked us, let's think about this a little bit. This experience of Abraham is also witnessed by one of the most original texts in the history of spirituality, the memorial of Blaise Pascal. It begins as follows. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, not of philosophers and wise men, certainty, certainty, feeling, joy, peace, God of Jesus Christ. This memorial, written on a small parchment and found after his death, sewn inside a philosopher's gown, expresses not an intellectual reflection that a wise man can conceive about God, but the living sense, the experienced sense of his presence. Pascal even notes the precise moment in which he felt that reality, having finally encountered it, the evening of November 23rd, 1654. He is not a, an abstract God or a God or a cosmic God. He is a God who is a person, the God who has called him, the God of Isaac, of uh, Jacob, the God of certainty, of feeling, of joy. Uh, what certainty, what feeling, what joy? Abraham's prayer is expressed by his deeds, the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, a man of silence. He constructs an altar to the Lord. Abraham did not build a temple, but scattered the path with stones reminiscent of God's passage, a surprising God, as when God visits him in the figure of three guests, whom he and Sarah welcome with care, and who announced to uh, and the guests who announced to him and to Sarah the birth of their son Isaac. He believed. He trusted in God. He entrusted himself to God. And Sarah, his wife, conceived. This is the God of Abraham. And our God, uh, our companion. And thus Abraham becomes a familiar family member of God, capable of even of argument with God. He discusses with him, but always faithful, until even up to the supreme trial when God asks him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Here Abraham lives his faith like a drama, like a stumbling walk in the night, under a sky this time devoid of stars. And so many times, it happens also to us to walk in darkness, but with faith. God himself will stay Abraham's hand, even at the very moment he is ready to strike, because he's, he has seen his total readiness and willingness to do God's will. Brothers and sisters, let us learn from Abraham. Let us learn to pray with faith, to listen, to walk, to dialogue, even to the point of argument with God. We should not have we should not be afraid to argue, to discuss with God. It's something that almost seems like a heresy. So many times we hear people who say, but, but this has happened, and, and you sound 
angry with God. But have courage. But you have courage to be angry with God. Yes, I'm angry with him. And this is also a form of prayer. Because only a son can have the courage to to have an argument with the father and to to discuss with him, to meet with him. And let us learn always to be willing to God's word and to put it into practice. With God, we have to uh, learn to have the relationship of a son with the father, a child with the father, to listen, to respond, even to, to argue, to discuss, to discuss things. But transparently, like uh, a son with a father, uh, the, like the sign of of Abraham, uh, we have to we have to learn this. Thank you.